morning, Crusader Nation. Today is Friday, March 6th. My name is Chris. And I'm Adiba. Here is Julia with the pledge. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now an important March is reading month announcement. Today is the last day to shop at the book fair. It will close at the end of the day. Join us and participate in Reading Spirit Days next week. Wednesday is Superhero Day. Dress up as your favorite superhero to get a raffle ticket. And Friday is Sock Day. Wear your coolest pair of socks. Don't forget the, to decorate your doors for door decorating contest. Contest ends on Friday, March 13th. We are doing a creative writing contest called Fantastic Endings. Enter our creative writing contest and continue the story of your favorite characters. Entries due March 27th. See your language arts teachers for more details. There are no reading logs this year, but if you read a, if you read a book and write a review, you get a free ticket to the United Shore Professional Baseball League game. See Mrs. Monero if you have any questions. Make your calendars for Thursday, March 19th. We are going to do a book swap. Bring a gently used book and take home a new to you book. Book swap will take place during all three lunches. One last reading announcement. All library books are due back to the library on Monday, March 23rd. We need to catalog the books before we close the library for renovations for the rest of the year. Fine slips will be distributed to students who do not return books. If you have a book and you want to renew it, you need to come to the library with your book and renew it. Normal book checkouts will resume after spring break. Now on to some student news. Do you know how amazing some of your fellow classmates are? Let us tell you, this past weekend on Science Olympia team completed in the regional competition. They took 8th place overall. Here were the students that took home some medals. If you see them, you should say congratulations. Ari and Timon took 4th place in Circuit Lab. Evan I and Cole Miller took 5th place in Crime Busters. Timothy and Timon took 5th place in Density Lamb. Ambra and Hia took 6th place in Food Science. Evan I and Aria took place took 4th place in Game On. Timon took 7th place in Meteorology. Arya and Sanjeev took 5th place in Mission po Impossible. Arya took 6th place in Ornithology, FYI, that's the study of birds. Amor and Hia took 8th place in Water Quality. Abhinaya and Nabiha took 8th place in Write It, Do It. We will wrapping up our season with a pizza party. If you are interested in joining Science Olympiad, the club will start again net in later October. Attention all 8th graders, if you are interested in taking 9th grade honors language arts instead of regular 9th grade language arts in high school next year, please be sure to attend a lunch meeting with Mrs. Painter on Thursday, March 12th during 8th grade lunch in the Media Center. Please know that you don't have to be in 8th grade advanced language arts in order to apply. If you excel in your current classes and enjoy reading and writing, come and join us. Ms. Painter will share information about the course, application process, and answer any question you may have. You need to sign up for a meeting in the main office. If you have any questions, please reach out to Ms. Prosher. Now on to sports. On Saturday, February 29th, the Crusader wrestling team traveled to Waterford to compete in a multi-team tournament. Fourteen of our wrestlers fought hard on the mat in an amazing showing of courage and determination. Bringing home hardware for Ruther were Nick G, Chris T, and Sam S with second place medals. And bringing home gold was Jabber R. Ruther's next meet is Thursday at Oxford Middle School. Good luck, Crusaders. Here is Julia with Friday's Featured Read. Good morning, Crusader Nation. My name is Julia, and welcome back to Friday's Featured Read. This week's book is The False Prince, written by Jennifer A. Ne Jennifer a. Nielsen. The False Prince takes place in a kingdom where a civil war is about to take place. In order to save the kingdom, a plan is devised. Four boys will compete to become the false prince. One of them is Sage, a cunning, clever, and defiant boy. Every boy is competing for something. Deceit is in every corner of this castle. The truth, more dangerous than all the lies put together. Four boys, one kingdom, one crown, and one false prince. Stop by your Crusader Nation library and check it out today. Here's an exciting announcement about Doodle for Google.
Thank you for joining us today. Good luck with door decorating. I'm Chris. And I'm Adiba. As always, it's a great day to be a crusader.